Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge. What I'm doing here today is cracking open a shiny new shrink-wrapped copy of this. This is a copy of Black Brim 1876, an immersive puzzle adventure, otherwise known as an escape room in a box. Uh, this is from a company called Puzzling Pursuits, who I do have to thank for sending me a copy of this and one other game to check out. Um, I'm doing an unboxing video for an escape room type game. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you because I haven't seen what's in this box yet, so I don't even know how much I can give away and how much I won't. I'm going to try as much as possible to not spoil anything, but to give you an idea of the component quality and what you kind of get on this box so if you can determine if it's worth the money, at least component-wise. Now, of course, I will be doing a review later, but you'll have to wait for that until after we solve the puzzle. As for the unboxing, though, let's get to it. I'm just going to cut the shrink, then I'm going to put it down the table. We'll swap cameras over and we'll take a look at what's in the box for Puzzling Pursuits Black Brim 1876. All right, here's my copy of Black Brim 1876 from Puzzling Pursuits. And I just got the shrink wrap off this and I had the video game thing happen. Where, like the shrink wrap is so tight, it's like stuck to the box. So I just wanted to point that out because I haven't had that happen with a with a board game before. So there is a little bit of stickiness there uh, to it. Um, just to show the box size, it's definitely an oddly thin box. Though I've got to say a little bit more impressive than say your use often you can get these escape room games just in an envelope. So now we're going to crack this open. Let's see what we got. All right. So we do have a welcome to that says read me first. We're going to take a look through that. All right. There's not a lot here. So it just kind of tells you what it is. Here's the background. Here's how it works. Tips on what you need. So it does say few of the puzzles will not be doable without internet research. So this is not one of those escape room games where everything you need to solve the puzzles is going to be in the box. You're going to need to do some research. Um, I, I'm amused by number three here that says you may become frustrated, but that's part of the puzzle solving experience. Don't give up. Um, so you can check for solutions and extra clues, which you're going to do by going to puzzlingpursuits.com slash play. Um, you should check your answers to the puzzle. So after you've done a puzzle, it's telling you to go online and check it, which is a unique check thing. Um, plus it, you can view a component list. So there's an inventory that shows the full component list. There's a website there. I'm not going to show it to you all here. So if you wanted to, um, interestingly, um, enjoyed it. This is for you. I guess I'm giving away a free bonus. Sorry. So then we have part one open when ready, which is a neat little sealed envelope that looks like it's buckled. Then we have part two that says open when instruction. Let's see if there's more parts. Wow. That's much thicker than part one. Again, looks like it's buckled up. That's a nice touch. It's well done. The trompe delay is really well done there. And then we have, that's it. Bottom of the box. So I don't see any reason I'm not going to be able to show you just the inside of this because everyone's going to see this when they first open it. So we're going to crack open this part. Look, take a look at what's inside the brief. But going past this, I think that's about all I'm going to show you. So we're going to take this, slide that open, just kind of look at what's in here. So you have a nice letter here. It says detective. Oh, that's nice. Okay, check that out. Wax sealed envelope. Wax sealed envelope. And a bunch of stuff. So right here, Mo is going to peek at what we have. Yeah, I don't want to spoil any of this. So I'm going to just peek quick. Oh, these are well done, though. Okay. All right. So what we have underneath that, I don't want to show anything off. So we have what looks like a map. And then we get into it. We got newspapers that are actually like newspaper finish. That's cool. It's, it's newsprint. Um, there's some more cards here. There's looks like some postcards, some normal paper, it's something on thick card as well. And that's it. That's all I'm going to show you. I don't even know what's on there. It's not like I took a look at what all those sheets did. So that's an idea of what's in the first envelope. Fairly small. That's awesome. Right there. Bonus marks right for that. That's awesome. So we're going to put this back. I do like how this folder open. That's nice. So we're going to fold this shut. So there you go. That's what you get. I don't want to show any more than that. So I got to say, like, the, you showed you what was in there. There was, there was enough stuff in there. Look at how much thicker part two is. And I am not touching that. Put all this back in the box. Quality seems excellent here. Um, I like the fact there was actual newsprint. It's a nice little read me first. 
box is nice and sturdy. So there you go. Puzzling Pursuits Black Brim, as much as I care to show. All right, I had a feeling there wasn't going to be a lot I could show off on here. I don't think I went too far. Um, I like that I kind of flipped through the corners of things, just kind of text the different uh, the different textures. It was definitely postcard texture in there. Uh, newsprint, newspaper feel. There were obviously some postcards in there and things like that. No clue what's in the second box, but it was much thicker. Um, I dig the look of this. A um, little concerned about having to use the internet, especially when you're supposed to be an investigator in 1876. So uh, that's a little odd. It seems a little like it's going to kind of pull you out of things a little bit to uh, use the internet for this. But that is what you get in the box for Puzzling Pursuits Black Brim 1876, an escape room in a box puzzle style game, ages 14 plus. Um, says you have one to six players. I'm probably going to be playing this one with my extended family. Speaking of that, when I do, I will be doing up a full review of this. I'll let you know not what's in the box. Again, it'll be spoiler free, but I'll let you know what I thought of it, the component quality, how hard the puzzles were, how easy they were, how much you had to use the internet, and just how much out of the box knowledge is required to solve this, because that is a major concern for me. Um, that's all I've got. So thank you for joining me for this unboxing video. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Find more gaming content at tabletopbellhop.com and tip your bellhop at patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Good day and game on.